Hey, hey, and welcome to this video where I will be trying to make skeletal animations happen inside of my new project where I'm learning lightweight Java game library. So here we are inside of Blender and you recognize this model. It's the lady that we use for our 2D project. And so here is the armature and we have an action called walk and that action looks like this. So that's basically an animation. And this is our goal. We're going to try to make this happen inside of our 3D engine. So there's a lot to learn and we need to break it up into smaller parts. So the first thing that we're going to do is try to get the model into our engine with this T pose. So the model will just look like this to begin with, but it's still going to be affected by the bones. So that's important. We could have just exported the model without the bones in this pose. So every vertex would have this pose. That's not what we want. Um, we want the vertices to be affected by the bone transformations. So first try, here we go. Perfect. That's exactly what we were aiming for. I'm so happy. Not. Well, so it didn't work out quite as I had hoped, but I guess not much more is to be expected when it's your first try. But now comes the hard part of finding out what might be wrong. Is it inside of my shader code? Or is it when I import the model? Am I not storing the right values? Uh, am I not multiplying the bone matrices in the right order? How about that inverse global matrix? Oh. All right, so checking through everything and trying once more. Oh, I will name you Floaty McBoob Face. So here it sort of looks like all of the bones are in the same position. So let's see what we can do about that. The hills are alive! Finally! So now that we have our T-pos, we can move on to try to import the animations. Ah, I am so sorry. Uh, I'll fix this. I swear. Hang in there. I'm so sorry. Oh, thank goodness. Now it works. I mean, currently she's a lawnmower, but it's working. She has the walk animation. Now all we need to do is rotate her back up. Woohoo! Look at this! We have a working walk animation. So yay! And also an idle animation and... Wait, what is this? What is this? What are these little lines? What's up with the shadows? I mean, weren't the shadows working just moments ago? Yes, the hills were alive and the shadows were working. All right, the shadows are now fixed. So it turns out that that problem was inside of the fragment shader when we try to figure out if a fragment should be in shadow or not. So in one part of those calculations, we transform the coordinates to the projected coordinates uh, from the light source. And during those calculations, there was a place where I needed to divide the XYZ components by the W component, which I had missed. And why it worked for the static model, I do not know. Uh, no clue. But after that was fixed, we now have working shadows and working animations. So I'm really happy with that. And that will be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hey